Hello, in this video we're going to look at sequences and series using Excel. In the first example I'd like to look at an arithmetic sequence and the exercise is to find the first 10 terms of the arithmetic sequence with first term 3 and common difference 4. We'll also find the sum. So in these first two columns I've labeled n and a sub n. The n refers to the index for example, when the index is 1, when I'm talking about my first term, the value of the first term is 3. And in the second term, well, we'd have to do some calculations and, and so forth. So to fill down the index column, let's go to Fill, Series, and we'll choose a step value of 1. For the value of those terms, we know that we start at 3 because that's given in the problem. For the next term, that's going to be equal to the previous term plus the common difference, which is 4. And we can fill down that formula, and that computes all of the terms. So we can see that the ninth term is 35 and the tenth term is 39. Now, to find the sum, we type in equals, sum, parentheses, highlight the cells we want to take the sum of, close parentheses and enter. So that was done with a recursive formula and I'll just put that in red so it matches that formula. We could have also used an explicit formula. So again I'll label this column a sub n. For the explicit formula I'm supposed to take the first cell containing the value, which is 3 in this case, plus n minus 1. So that would be n minus 1 times the common difference, which is 4. Now, notice that in this first cell, that C2, or A1 value, is not supposed to change. I'm always using that, and so I'm going to put dollar signs around it so that it doesn't change. Let's fill down. And we get exactly the same values, which is what we expect. These are just two different ways to compute the terms in the arithmetic sequence. Next, let's look at a geometric sequence. Again, I'll label my columns n and a sub n. Let's fill down the series. The first term is 64, and that's given in the problem. For a geometric sequence, it's the previous term times the common ratio, which in this case is one half. We can fill down, and those are the terms of our geometric sequence. We can find the sum. Now, we could have also used an explicit formula for the geometric sequence. So this is A1, so that's going to be our 64, times our common ratio, which is 1 half, raised to the power n minus 1, so n minus 1. Also notice that this B2 cell, we don't want that to change as we go down the different rows of our Excel spreadsheet, so I'm going to put dollar signs around that. Let's fill down, and we get exactly the same terms. Lastly, let's take a look at an example that's neither an arithmetic nor a geometric sequence. So let's find the first 10 terms of the sequence defined as follows, um, and let's assume that the first term is found with n equals 1. We could perhaps assume that, but I wanted to make that explicit. Okay, so we'll do our fill down with the series. And for the formula of the terms, we're looking at n squared plus 1, so this equals n squared plus 1. Let's fill down the series. And now to find the sum, we just type equals sum sum over the cells, and that's our answer.